Okay, so we're outside our hotel. It is eight-ish in the morning, and we are waiting for our local guide to come. So, short story, I don't like people planning things for me. I am a planner by nature, and I like control. But today I'm giving up control, which is a bold move. And we found another creator who lives here in Puerto Rico and covers Puerto Rican activities and events and things you should see. And we're letting him plan the entire day. Um, so I'm gonna try to let my anxiety go because we're in a La Isla Bonita. And um, I'm gonna just see how the day unfolds. Let's see if I can do this. We know that we're going to the west side and that's it. That's all I know. <laughs> so far so good. He's not a jerk. Yay! <laughs> Um, I discovered a karaoke mic in the back of the car. So, uh, this is now how I speak to you. Coming at you live from... I forgot your name already. I'm terrible. Tongo. Tongo? Tongo. That's such a cool ass name. You I never know. told me your name. Yeah. So, coming at you live from Tongo's minivan. <laughs> now back to you, Carl, with the weather. And she can't see. I'm driving to the west side. First stop, which is where are we going, Dongo? Heladeria. We're gonna get the dessert first. Yeah. I don't know. Starting the day with some dessert. So I'm super excited because Dongo told us that this location has ice cream in like super bizarre flavors, like rice and beans and avocado. And I figure I am all for weird foods, and if it's weird foods that are also representative of Puerto Rican cuisine, we gotta try it. The city of Lara is, so far, underrated. So you have a home holy is a uh, sesame seed, batata is Puerto Rican sweet potato, kind of like yams, but a little bit sweet. Yams? Oh my gosh, the way you say yams is so cute. You say it like a Midwestern mom. We're gonna get some yams. Say it again, say it again. Say it again. Some yams. Cazuela for me is my favorite. It's sweet potato and cinnamon, and it's super sweet. It's kind of like a fall pie in an ice cream form. Ice cream form. Yes. You know what that sounds like, John? You know what that sounds like, John? That sounds like pumpkin spice. Yes. And you know what we love? Pumpkin spice. Because I'm a basic bitch, and basic bitches love pumpkin spice. Mm, mm, I'm getting that one. Sorry, I got excited. So we have ordered our flavors. We are going with spicy pepper, cilantro rice and beans and garlic ice cream. Mm. Um, it, it, it smells like a taco. It smells savory. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't look at me like that. It's, it's going to taste better than it smells. I swear to you. <laughs> I feel like I've that's heard that before in my life yeah. and it's not true. Cilantro. This is cilantro ice cream. It, that was one of my favorites. Of the weird flavors. It's one. very fresh. Yes, like I, it I is. thought I would hate it. No. But it's actually kind of good. Yeah. Now we're onto garlic. Now I've had okay. garlic ice cream once in my life really? before. I don't remember it. Okay. Now now it's a. It little was in flashback. Estonia as a child. Estonia. Wow. Yeah. So it's been it's been a while. I bet. Okay. <laughs> That's garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like garlic. Who would have thought, right? Oh, it tastes like a lot of garlic. You know, I smell it from here now. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Let's just say I was single before and I will remain single after. Because uh, like I'm going to stank from that one for sure. Okay, You're okay. Me. Rice and beans. Rice and beans. Uh, rice and pigeon peas. Rice and pigeon peas. I'm like nervous because garlic yes. was rough. I know. <laughs> garlic was rough. It tastes almost caramely. Yes, a little bit. A little bit. It's like, this one I like. Yeah. I don't love it. Have you, have you, did you get the little grain of uh, rice yes. though? And I try to find a pigeon pea and bite it. Since it's so cold, it's basically kind of like a small rock and just pop, pops in your mouth. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to do the spicy pepper. That's the one I've, I was in shock because I thought it was going to be sweet peppers. And then she told me it was spicy. So, so we got it anyway because you know why? We're going to eat. Yes. Look at you, the you're the Rico Suave of Puerto Rico. Ooh. Okay, close up to the ladies, close up to the ladies. <laughs> so how was that good? I, okay, surprising. Yes. I think that's the best way to put it. What I love is you literally have any flavor that anyone could ever want in an ice cream. We you talk, can get here. We're talking from the good to the very crazy and 
people won't like it. Flavor. But here's the thing I was thinking. Yes. If you took that garlic ice cream and you put it on like a savory dish, yeah. I bet you could make some like really cool dish with that. Oh, I bet, yeah. I'm just not capable of cooking. There are people who are made to make things and people who are made to buy things. I was made to buy yeah. things. Know who you are, know where you are. I right? know, right? Know your market. <laughs> know your market. My market is not cooking. <laughs> exactly. Bu buying the food done. <laughs> buying the food done. That's so, why we made this video. Yeah, of course. If you, we're making it easier for you guys. We know, yeah. we know you're like us, so yeah. let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> now to the next spot. We're going to go swim a little bit. We are here <laughs> in Gozalandia. I could not say that correctly. Yeah, I know. I, I, I added a little bit of spice. Gozalandia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most famous waterfalls in Puerto Rico. Oh, really? Yes, yes, because uh, now they're a little bit more developed. I used to skip school to come out here, but... Sh <laughs> and it was just going down mud hills and everything. This same family owned it for decades and decades. And, you know, the whole family got together and they're like, let's try to create something for people to get mm -hmm. here while at the same time protecting a little bit of the nature. But how far is this from San Juan? Two, two hours. Two, two hours. hours. We've, been two, yeah. we've driven two hours? Well, we drove more because we stopped for the food and the ice cream and all of that. So we took our time. I'm just gonna say that you are so fun that it did not feel like two it, hours. It doesn't feel like two hours. No, it did not. It I, felt like a half an hour. Look at the at the time. We I picked you up at eight forty five, and it's almost noon. Oh wow! I know, right? That that didn't click. That's how that fun my click. tours are. So oh, you know, sell yourself. Plug. You should. He's really good. Honestly, <laughs> I'm okay with it. Shameless sure. Plug. I'm I sorry. guess you're you're a product for this video. <laughs> call nine one one. No, don't yeah, call nine one one. We're gonna know. <laughs> So before starting everything out here, it's gonna get a little bit steep. So I suggest going sideways and just stepping sideways and holding onto the rails. Okay. Because humidity and everything makes the stairs a little bit mossy and slippery. So keep that and, in mind when coming out here. And I'm a klutz. So yeah, that's why we're gonna try to avoid a trip to the hospital. I got Go you. team! I'll catch you. I'll try. Oh my god. Is that just the tide pool or is that the waterfall? Okay, hold on. Now I'm now I'm hustling. I'm just like I'm so clumsy. Yep. Don't let me fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we're here. <laughs> We're ready. We're gonna swim. I'm gonna go yeah. swim under a waterfall. It's hot and sweaty. So. It is disgusting. Yes. yes. Uh, so the solution to that is. Let's get in the water. Cold water. Very cold water. But I'm tired. I take a nap here now. Where are we going next? Uh, we're going to Crash Boat Beach. I would say top beaches in Puerto Rico. Really? Yes, yes. And food, drinks, snorkeling, and jumping from piers and crystal clear waters. Like, Done. What more Sign do you want from me that? Up. Let's just let's go. Yeah, let's get it. Okay, where are we now? We're in Crash Boat. We finally made it out here. Um, I don't love the name Crash Boat. It's very oh, ominous. Because like, I'm going to teach die. you a little bit of the history. This used to be Aguadilla and near this town there was an army base called Remy Base. Here they used to park the boats to get the fuel to the jets in the airport. And all of this used to have the boats like in World War II that they would beach them on the shore and they would look like you crashed the boat on the beach. So wow. that's where it came from. And I'm gonna jump off a pier. We're gonna jump off the pier. Ready? She looks more nervous. She was like hyping me all the way, like oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm good swimming. Now she's scared. I just, you know, everybody's yeah, doing it. Everybody's doing it. You got to. 
<laughs> let's go, let's go. Jump first or you want me to just go at it? I'm so scared. <laughs> She's too scared of it, no. It's easy. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Ridiculously good. Warm water, crystal clear. The best. She wants to jump again, so she liked it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Well, guys, that was awesome. I am very hot, and now I definitely need some snacks because I'm hungry, and I have heard that there are very delicious skewers of meat, of which I've forgotten the Spanish Pinchos. word. Pinchos. So I'm gonna get some pinchos and probably some baby dolls, and we're gonna have a much chiller afternoon. Yeah, well, I'm tired. Okay, yo, where are we going now? No, I'm hungry. Can you're hungry. Something? Let's get the pinchos, you know? <laughs> Puerto Rican kebabs. What's okay. better than that? For the love of God, I'm so hungry, yes. Let's, Let's go. do it. It's right there. <laughs> 50, 50 feet, we're there. Pinchos! So he was just telling me like the coolest thing about this beach because he knows that we talk about accessibility a yes, lot in our channel. Exactly. Go ahead, uh, fill them in, Tongo. Everybody can come here to Crash Boat and visit. There's also a wheelchair ramp. So it's wheelchair accessible if you're coming with a disabled so loved one that they can come here and have a great time. Puerto Rico is made for everybody. So you're going to be able to just enjoy out yeah. this nature. There's a ramp all the way down to the beach. Yes. So I've never seen that at a beach before. There you go. There you go. PR number one. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> they have chicken, so you want to Chicken's try the chicken fine. one? Yeah. What's that? Oh, those are emp empanadillas. Those are fritters. What's in it? Uh, esa de que tienes aquí, de carne. That's meat. And y la otra de allá, pizza. the pizza. Can I get a pizza, one of those. This is a pastelillo de pizza. Pastelillo de pizza. It's a pizza pastry. Yes. Glad. <laughs> and we transition. <laughs> this is the pink. Pincho. Pincho. Yeah. That one is chicken. Oh my god. It's so good. It's like my first fish, but with food. How much is this? Four bucks. Four dollar holla. Out west and everywhere out of San Juan, it's gonna be way cheaper than staying in San Juan. San Juan right now, it's like New York prices. People think it's cheap, but not cheap wherever you go. So head out of San Juan. No, for real, get out of San Juan. Yeah. <laughs> Wish I'd done it sooner, to be really honest. <laughs> well, we're back. Uh, unfortunately, the day has to end, right? I'm so tired, no. though. I want to go hey. sleep. Mm. She, she was, for a little while, like a little baby, just chilling, just laying back after all that beach jumping and waterfalls and everything. It takes a toll on you. It does. The yeah. water, man. But I could be in the water for, like, ever. Oh, you were like a baby out there. She flowed even better than me. She was killing. I was, like, threading water, like, Right here, she was just chilling. She killed it, she killed it. Like a boss. Yes. Well, thank you so much. No, it was my this pleasure was a, to hope. It's very difficult for me to like give up control. Yes. And I did that today and you made it so easy to do. And I, I know it was kind of like a surprise because I talking to the team, you know, the yeah. people behind scenes. And she basically didn't do nothing that we were gonna do today. So no. it was a, a fun surprise. It was a very yeah. fun surprise. I, I was nervous because I'm very type A, but it went really well. Yes, so maybe no. this means I should give up control a little bit more Just often. a little bit more, yeah, of course. So tell everyone where they can find you, where Perfect. they can follow you, where they can learn more about Puerto Rico. So if you want to look for more Puerto Rico content, you can follow me at Tongo underscore PR on every social media. I'm talking TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I do a lot of vlogs too. So if you want to do it on your own, I'm going to give you a lot of recommendations where to eat, where to go, where to visit. 
not from just the touristy to very hidden gems all over the island and of course i also do private excursions all over the island take one they're literally like this was amazing yes this I was have, literally amazing it, it, I, I take everything from your hands for you to enjoy so i basically you just sit down on my truck have a great day and i take control of everything and make you enjoy and appreciate the culture of puerto rico Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Go out and see the world. Yes. And peace. Peace. Don't be our mouth cats.